Hello, we're going to look at how to retrieve, insert, and update data into a database using HTML forms. Now, in the previous series, we had set up a database connection script, and so you're going to want to use that. If you don't have that handy, you can look at our source code on the previous series and copy and paste that. And we also had created a database with two tables in it, a navigation table and a videos table. And you can grab the SQL code for that if you have not already built this database. So we're going to take a look at building an HTML form. And if you're not entirely familiar with HTML forms, you can go ahead and take a look at our HTML and CSS video series and get a better handle on that. Let's go ahead and create a new file. Control N if you're in Dreamweaver. And we're going to do PHP and HTML5. And we'll go ahead and give this a title. And we need to include our connection script, so we need to do PHP include Let's give ourselves a little room in the body here. And we'll start by creating the form tag. And within the form tag, we'll go ahead and we need to create some input fields. And these input fields need to match the table that we're going to insert into in the database. So let's flip over to the database. And we're going to go ahead and make a simple form that allows us to add more to our navigation. So make a mental note. The items we need to be able to edit are label, URL, target, position, and status. We do not need to edit ID because that will be automatically generated for us. So let's hop back over to Dreamware and let's start out by creating an input field. Need to give it a type and that's going to equal text. We're going to need to give it a name. This is extremely important. We'll call this label. We'll give it a size. And this is going to be characters. So let's go ahead and say 50 characters. And something new to HTML5 is the placeholder. go and we'll put a value property in here and we'll leave that blank and there we go we have our first input field let's go ahead and save this and in order to preview this we're going to need to make sure that both connect and example are up on our server so let's hop over to the browser There you go. We have our first field here. Let's go ahead and give this a label. And just for looks, we'll go ahead and give this page a heading tag. So let's go ahead and we'll create some more input fields. So let's look again at our table here. Pretty much everything we have here is going to have a text box. With the exception of status, we have a couple different options we can do there. So we need two more text boxes. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this two lines of code here and paste it twice. And this can kind of speed things up. Now it's really important to remember that 
if you forget to change anything, make sure it's not the name. We definitely need to change the name on each one of these. So this one's going to be URL. And this one's going to be target. Let's go ahead and change our label. I'm going to go ahead and take nav off of here. And we'll change our placeholder. And for now, let's go ahead and we'll just copy this again. And we'll do this, we'll do a text field for status. Uh, we can definitely drop the size down for status to we'll just do 10, even though we really only need one character. And we'll go ahead and take the placeholder out. And lastly, we're going to need a button. There's two different types of buttons we can make. We can make it the old style with an input tag, or we can use the button tag. We're going to go ahead and use the button tag. The type, and it's going to be submit, name, submit. And the label is going to be Save this and upload it. Do a refresh. And there you go. Now before we go a little further, let's go ahead and spruce up this form just a little bit. And we're not going to do anything real fancy here. Um, we're just going to add a paragraph tag around each one of these. And clean it up a little bit. Go ahead and save and upload. Refresh. And there you go. Now we're going to look at how to do something with this data that is sent with the form. And we'll go ahead and save a copy of this.